Hi, it's Bacon Slover, and I'm just going to show you guys how to make these cool little friendship uh, woven bracelets. Um, I learnt this way back in grade 6, I believe, when I was going to elementary school, and um, I love doing this technique. I wear these bracelets 24-7. I love them. Um, here is a yellow, red, pink, green, and purple one, and there's an orange, yellow, and white one, a pink, white, and blue one, an orange, blue, and green one, three different shades of blue and a yellow, purple and green one and back here is a black, dark brown and neon green one that is partially started and here is one that started that only has yellow and white, orange and blue. So these are really easy to make and um, you could do it with kids but kids who are patient enough to do this. So we're going to need is a safety pin. You're going to get the string that you want and um, I just use this string from the craft store. It's um, kind of like a wool feeling. But I believe any will work. So here's my little hippie pants. <laughs> um, but you want to get your safety pin and tie a knot around that. And this is going to be very difficult for me to show you um, in video, especially when we're having to use both hands. So I'm going to show it to you guys in pictures. So once more, you're going to cross over, reach your hand in. Now you're going to need two hands for this puppet. You're going to grab this with your right hand and pull upwards. Hold on, I'm trying to grab this with my elbow. Pull upward like that. Sorry, it's kind of difficult to do this and film. Uh, there we go. Now I want to choose a proper amount. Um, so you'll have the same amount of little kind of circlets around at the same time. So I'm going to choose ten. Or no, I'm going to do five. So now I do this five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then once I've done that, I will get the next colour, which will be yellow. And so now I'll pull yellow aside and put the pink back into the group and do the same thing with yellow. And pull through. So I will show you when it's halfway done and then all the way done. Okay, so you want to start by pulling the string away from the rest of the strings. Now you want to cross it over in a sort of a four shape. Now you want to reach your hand through the four and pull through the four as if you were pulling you're pulling the string through the kind of triangle. Next you want to pull it up towards where your safety pin is and you want to pull it tight. Okay guys, so I tried to make it a little easier for you guys to see. So um, so far I have this done here. Now I just want to say that you guys can never make it absolutely even or have the bumps on the exact same size because you're constantly moving the string and twisting it. So it's never going to be exactly perfect. But I'm just going to try to show you this way to make it a little easier. Hopefully this helps and you guys can't obviously get it all automatically. This took me quite a couple years to figure out. So hopefully this is a good colour to show you on. So cross, take it away, cross over like you're making a fall. Okay, then pull it through and up. That was one. Drape it kind of over, in, grab it, two. Three. And I decided to do seven. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So now that I've done that, you can see that. You can't really see. The, the pink one is shorter than the other three, and that's because you just did that weaving. So as you get through the colours, doing a pattern, these will get as short as the other one. 
So hopefully you guys understand how this works and I will show you the finishing product. Um, and hopefully you guys give this a try and if you have any questions um, you can email me at bakingsisterslover at live.ca and um, yeah, hopefully you guys try this out and hopefully you have fun. You guys enjoy. Ciao.